our next guest is an exceptionally funny man who is to Boston what Swedish meatballs are to Ikea. He stars alongside Jamie Lee Curtis in the latest Michael Myers movie, Halloween Kills, which is in theaters and on Peacock now. Please welcome Lenny Clark. <laughs> You look. Well, thank you. You know, it's the makeup, Jay. <laughs> no, no. No, no I'm telling you, because I, I would do me. I really would. I, do I, <laughs> I, I, I was with the makeup girls. I said, wow, I, I would love to have them come. Now, when you go out of the house in the morning, do you have your makeup done and everything? <laughs> no, no, you I don't do makeup. That, I that'd know. Be great. It is funny, though, because I wear makeup on TV, and then when I'm out in the wild, people are like, hey, are you okay? You look tired. <laughs> <laughs> this guy came up to me and said, are you wearing makeup? I said, yes, aren't you? Uh, come on, I want to look good. This is great. You, why, it's not a spoiler. I could say this. You get killed in this movie. Yes, everyone gets killed. <laughs> oh, yeah. right. oh, David Gordon Green did a job on this, and Danny McBride, those guys were great. We had so much fun. I never had so much fun getting killed in my life. Everyone, they were just killed, killed. It, it's but unbelievable. Did you know going in, it was at the plant? Did you, well, I mean, I, you know, it's a Halloween movie, it's obviously, but, but did you know you were going to be uh, a victim? David Gordon Green says, Lenny, we want to have you have a fight with Michael Myers that he's never had. And I went, really? Yeah, we want you to make it like a, a real battle that, that there's a chance that you could finish him off. And I'm going, really? So I trained, I worked out in the gym, I was working out with Gronk and I mean, And I get down to him and I go, Nah, we're not gonna do that. Really? <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna kill you. Like, oh. <laughs> but it was good. It was good. So you had to get sweaty with Gronk for no yeah. reason oh, at yeah. all. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, Are yeah. you friendly with Gronk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, I hurt my back the day before I went down, and he gave me some of that CBD stuff to, yeah. to take the. <laughs> Hey, it works. Look at <laughs> so you would go to these Patriots games, I assume, if yep. you know Gronk. You yep. Know. Are you upset that he's he and Tom Brady too? Both of them. Well, you know, I'm friends with Robert Kraft. Uh -huh. I'm friends with Bill Belichick. Okay. And I'm friends with Tom and, and Gronk. But see, when I was growing up in Boston, I would be friends with a lot of the players on all the sports teams. And, you know, we'd go out and we'd drink, we'd have fun, and then they'd get, like, traded or retire. But now I'm friends with the owners. They never leave. <laughs> and I get better seats, so I enjoy. I enjoy. You do, yeah. Uh, but but I mean, I, I, I miss Tom. Was great. I had dinner with Tom and his wife one night. Me and my wife, and Tom and his wife. And I said to him, Tom, what was that jacket you wear? Because he's a real sharp dresser. And he said, What jacket was? That? I said, What are you getting out of a helicopter? He said, What what commercial? I said, Well, how many helicopter commercials did? It? So he said, Do you like that jacket? I said, Best jacket I've ever seen on a man in my life. Three, two weeks later, he sent it to my house. He did? Yeah. So then I walk into Dennis Leary's office with my Tom Brady jacket, and he goes, Lenny, that's the most beautiful jacket I've ever seen you win. I said, that's right, a little something from Tom Brady. And he goes, that's a Tom Ford. And I go, what's that mean? He goes, worth like four grand. I go, I'll never wear it in the rain again. <laughs> <laughs> good wow, so you're really, really friendly with that. Yeah. So do you, like, speak to the team? Are you... Oh, oh, oh God, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, 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 one, one time, uh, I... John Henry, the owner of the Boston Red Sox. Right. Okay. Brother, yeah. Yeah. He calls me and says, "Lenny, would you uh, would you come by the ballpark tomorrow? I have a friend that's dying to meet you." And I said, "Okay." And uh, I said, "Can I bring my wife?" He said, "I said, Lenny, we're going to the game." He said, "They're playing the Yankees." Hey! So we go and then we're in his booth, you know, and he's got butlers and servants and waiters <laughs> and everything. And I'm eating food. I don't even know what it is, but it was delicious. <laughs> I'm just it down. And so about the third inning, we're beating the Yankees seven to four, and he comes up. He says. Lenny, this is my friend. I want you to meet Steve Martin. I go, Steve Martin? Go, oh, my God, Steve Martin. He goes, I had to meet you. I think you're fantastic. I said, wait, wait, honey, get over here. Tell her again, you know? So now he's telling him, I'm, <laughs> the phone rings. I look down, it's Belichick. And he goes, is that the coach? I said, yeah. He said, answer the phone. I go, well, I'm with you, Steve. He goes, take the call. So I said, oh, yeah, Lenny, it's Bill. I said, what's up, Bill? I need you to do me a favor. I said, well, I said could you speak to the team? And I said, yeah, sure, Bill, whatever you want. I'm, I'm a little busy right now. He goes, well, I don't think he understands. What now? Now? I'm at Fenway Park in the owner's booth with Steve Martin falling over me. Oh, no, right. and, 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 you, <laughs> and you want me to go to speak to the team? He says, well, you know, you never let me down before. I go, well, how did you know where I was? He says, I know everything. I says, all right, where do I got to go? He says, there's a car waiting for you behind home plate. And I said, how did you know I'd say yes? He says, you never let me down before. So I said, okay. So I get in the car, my wife takes the truck, goes home. <laughs> I drive down to the stadium. Yeah, yeah. So now the stadium, you know, on NFL games, they're usually home with the families. Not this week, Spygate. So they're sequestered <laughs> with the team. So I go in and I see his assistant, Barish. I take his, he's got a little video camera, give me that. So I go in and I, Bill says, okay, come on. We go into a team 
uh, a team meeting in the, in, in the room, and they lock the doors, and I go, oh, my God, I'm at a team meeting, you know? And he starts screaming, and he's yelling at Brady. I go, oh, my God, he's yelling at Tom Brady. This is wild, right? <laughs> so he goes, I have a friend. We've had a rough week, you know? The, the media's been all over us. Guy wants to come up and, uh, you know, lighten it up for us. So I get up. And I say, uh, you know, they say a picture's worth a thousand words. Evidently, this is worth two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Where's the idiot that didn't hit delete? Who got you the job, your uncle? And this little kid in the back room goes, "Yes, Mr. Clark." I go, "They didn't fire you." <laughs> so, uh, but it was, it was, so then I uh, did. I they win to, the game. They won the game, and I got the game ball. Well, you did. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And what about? <laughs> and was Steve Martin bummed that you ditched him? He sent me his autographed book. Yep. But he told me to go. Uh -huh. I would have never went, you know. I mean, I love Bill, but Steve Martin. Steve yeah, Martin. right. Yeah. I mean, and, listen, uh, you got to choose between Bill oh, Belichick and Steve Martin. Oh yeah, you I made have, the wrong choice. Yeah, I did. You know? Yeah. I, I picked. I picked against Murph Griffin one night, but that was a long story. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? Because I know you had a, like a near-death experience, right? Jimmy, I got to tell you, and you look terrific. You lost a lot. I, for those of you who don't know, I was a big fat bastard. I was. <laughs> I was 388 pounds, and I, I, I lost like 200 pounds working out, all, all the right there, yeah. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Yeah. So I'm in the best shape of my life, and I'm riding for the MS, you know, the, my sisters have MS, I'm riding back. And I'm in, I'm, I don't do drugs, I don't drink anymore, you know, and I had a stroke. I had a stroke out of nowhere. I'm, I get up one morning, my hand was asleep, so I made a cup of coffee. My hand was still asleep. I said, come on, you're going to join me of the day or what? I turned on the computer, and everything was missing around. I called the friend. I said, am I making any sense to you? He said, even less than normal, any. I go, OK. <laughs> so I take an aspirin, and uh, I get in the car, and I drive myself to the hospital. So now, <laughs> I, I, you're having a stroke. So they, they, they put me in a wheelchair, and they wheel me into a room, and they shoot me in the ass with some uh, amazing thing. And I got my speech check. He says, Lenny, you're having a massive stroke. I said, well, what do I do? Go home and lie down? You because know, I got a high <laughs> you know. So anyway, now they said, no, you're in an outbound helicopter coming in in 15 minutes. And I go, oh, my god. So then in comes this six foot four brunette Amazon nurse named Heidi. And I'm going, oh, hello, Mr. Clark. I said, hello, Heidi. So now she says, have you been in a helicopter before? And I said, yeah, well, I've done a lot of USO tours. I've been in all sorts of helicopters, pretty, but I've never been strapped into a gurney. And she, and I've never been strapped into anything without a safe word, you know? So, what, what, what is your safe? What is your safe word, by the way? Matt Damon. So now, <laughs> you never forget. From Boston, yeah, okay. So, so they're wheeling me out of the hospital, and people go, Lenny, can I have an autograph? I go, I'm strapped in. They go, I go, take a quick selfie. So now we get in. And when I was really fat, I would have never fit in this helicopter. <laughs> but yeah, oh yeah, we get in, and now the now Italian morph stuff on me. I'm going, wow, if this plane goes down, if this chopper goes down, I got to shoot through these things just to get to save Heidi, you know? So, I mean, cause that's what you think about when you're about to die. And as we, we get up to the Mass General Hospital, the chopper's spinning out of control. Now we're only five feet off the deck. I'm going, turn the key off. Let it drop. Let it drop. Because I don't want to fall off the building. And they go, I think that's what he's doing. Boom, we hit. He turned the mask off. Lenny, it's me, Freddy. I used to fly you when I flew helicopters for Ernie Bach. I go, it never ends. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank God you're OK. You're a national treasure, thank not you. just a local treasure in the New England area. Thank you, Lenny Clark, everybody. Halloween kills in theaters and on Peacock. We'll be back with the Kid Leroy. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and I am not allowed to eat this cookie until you click the subscribe button. So please click now. I'm hungry.